Welcome back to Hoosier Crane TV. I'm your host, Caitlin Miller, and I'm also the engineering manager here at Hoosier Crane. We've had so much success in the recent years that we've grown out of our main facility in Elkhart. Last month, we fixed our space problem with the grand opening of our new service building. The new space is now home for our entire service department. And I think for the service department, the sales department, we're going to become a closer family. Um, we're going to have room to work um, to uh, to have more communication. I think that's the biggest thing. We're all going to be tightening in our building as a service group, and it's going to make us better at performing um, communication-wise, getting things done, having meetings, you know, not being cramped up. And that, I think that's huge for Hoosier Crane. Everything's going to be right here, dedicated for service. Uh, we'll be able to make sure we have all of our parts, equipment, everything in order, separated from our manufacturing group. Um, and, and just be able to keep things a little more organized for a quicker response time, um, more full uh, service-driven uh, application here at this building. While we're based here in Elkhart, Indiana, we have branches in Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, and Chicago. Take a look at what our guys have been up to in each of the branches. Michelle, how can I help you? I've been here about a year and a half, almost two years, and we have really grown in the time that I've been here. Uh, within the last year, we've almost doubled our technician um, technician amounts, and you know, we just found out that you know, knowing your customers real well, you know, staying in pace with them and developing a relationship with them. Um, you know, it's, it's the best way to do business. You know, I, I pride a lot in the fact that when we do an inspection, we usually have uh, inspection repair quotes out within a week. And, you know, customers, they really, you know, they really like that. So when they're paying for an inspection, uh, to get them their problems right in front of their face that quick, you know, they feel that there's a value there that actually what they're paying for is going to be beneficial to their production. I been in the business for 16, 17 years. Been at Hoosier Crane for three plus. I do a little bit of everything. I help out with the sales. I'm a service tech, pretty much taking care of the customer any way possible. I've been in the crane industry for 20 years. I was a service tech for eight of those years. Uh, service coordinator, basically the rest. Uh, I do quotes uh, from inspections, quotes, uh, service quotes, uh, things like that. You know, I remember last year we had a breakdown on Christmas Eve, you know, and we, we were there. There was, no, there was no two ways about it. And uh, the customers feel a really good value with that, knowing that when they pick up the phone, uh, when they hear about uh, one of their cranes being down, they don't really have to worry about it. You know, they know we're going to be there and we're going to take care of it. It's real exciting going into uh, some of these places and walking in the door and seeing more and more, you know, new Hoosier cranes being put up, you know, and seeing that uh, Hoosier crane nameplate. And I, I think that uh, we're really making a mark in the area. Well, there is uh, definitely potential in, in the Chicago market. Uh, we currently are uh, supporting uh, four service technicians. We have a service manager now, Rosalio Martinez. Uh, we've just hired another person for sales in uh, Crown Point, Indiana area. Uh, so we're kind of working together for this whole Chicago, northern Indiana, northwest Indiana selling market. I make uh, cold cold calls in the companies that I believe have uh, cranes or potential for cranes, whether they be Hoyt, uh, jib cranes, 
overhead cranes or even hoist because we do repair hoist in that too. Did you have any other card at all? Tom will probably get uh, three to four inquiries a week just by knocking on the doors. And, you know, some will say uh, smokestack chasing isn't efficient, but in our business, there is a crane or hoist in every building, literally. So, how do you find that on the internet? You can't. We have, uh, I think, between Rosalio, Fernando, and myself, we got about, I don't know, a little more over 50 years experience. We're a service company that happens to sell cranes. Uh, we can do uh, any kind of maintenance work to your crane. We do inspections uh, and we do upgrades and modernizations as well as new cranes. So uh, we do it all. We have experienced service technicians. We're able to install your equipment also professionally and uh, keep and maintain it for its lifetime. And we work safe. You know, I've been working in this area for well, gosh, now it's been 17 years. Uh, I've been in some kind of sales, industrial, construction, sales or service environment uh, pretty much my whole entire working career um, in, this, in this area. It's a growing city. Um, there's a lot of initiative to make the city better um, and things like that. Um, it's, a good, it's a good, overall good place. Well, that's the people too. I think they like working with us. Um, we, we like working with them, obviously. Um, but that's that's the that's the feedback that I get is that we're easy to work with. When I tell people, no, I actually live here in Fort, Fort Wayne. Um, there's a, definitely a positive response to that. Figuring out a way that the customer can can upgrade their crane. Uh, to make it more efficient, to make it more user-friendly, uh, to make it easier to control. I'd say work with the customer to do those things is what, is what I, I like to do. We're right, we're right here. I'm right here and I have two service techs right here that we can help you and we can be there you know, as, as soon as we possibly can, which, which usually is within a couple of hours. <laughs> Still to come on Hoosier Crane TV, working along the Caribbean, a Hoosier Crane service tech gets an assignment in Central America. So tight that you can't remember. And why our inspection manager is so driven to make sure people are safe on the job. But first, a Hoosier Crane salute to business partner r and They can do a lot of custom stuff that a lot of the other places can't do. Um, they gave us a really nice quoting software package, which is their quote master. Um, we have access to that so we can we can quote pretty much anything that they sell other than some really specialty stuff. And, I mean, we can, you know, do a quote in 15, 20 minutes. We can provide components from uh, an eighth ton chain hoist up to a 250 ton uh, processing crane uh, in component package form, which allows the uh, overhead for our distributors like Hoosier Crane to be uh, minimal and it provides you with the ability to uh, give a, a solution to your end user, um, you know, that, that works for the application. We do training at their facility in Springfield, which we've done service tech training, we've done quote master training, we've done parts training. Um, they've come here and trained us with uh, uh, load summing and different equipments and options that go on their cranes. They, they really try to keep us informed. Uh, Hoosier Cranes really invested a lot of uh, their time and energy into uh, what I perceive as building a strong foundation for their uh, employees and, and workforce and in terms of knowing the components that R&M offer 
and being able to uh, intelligently talk about that to their customers and uh, knowing how to apply that to certain applications. We had a rep that used to come in, I won't say his name, but <laughs> his big thing was he would come in and cook his breakfast. And <laughs> he would come cook his breakfast and he would disappear. <laughs> but, I mean, he, he was an okay guy, but Josh has really stepped up his game and he's he helps us out and gives us technical help when we need it. And, and we don't need it, he leaves us alone. Welcome back to Hoosier Crane TV. You know we do most of our work here in the Midwest, but our projects take us all over the country and even the world. Recently, we just did a job in Honduras. Well, that job was just a two-ton crane that we sold to uh, Island Concrete, I believe was the name of the company. And then they put it up in one of their buildings that they erected for the power plant for the island. I think they installed it them, themselves and once they had it up on, the, up on the rails, that's when they wanted us to come in and wire it up. I did an operator training session for the, the second day that, that I was there. That was my only job responsibilities the second day. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of guys that spoke English there. Their, their skill level and working with the guys was uh, impressive. I was uh, shocked that they were able to help me so much and, and, and the things that they were able to do was was helpful, more helpful than I thought it was going to be. So it was kind of refreshing that they were able to help me so much. It doesn't matter where we're working. Safety is always a priority. The man who leads the charge for us is Rick Stevens. And he was working and uh, he ended up getting electrocuted. Um, he had thought the power was off and it wasn't off. He didn't double check or he double checked and whatever it was, he ended up getting electrocuted and got 480 through him and it, it killed him. And I was the one who had to go tell his mother, my mother, that he got, he got killed. And that's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, I don't ever want anybody to ever have to go through that, ever. A family uh, tragedy so drives Rick walk. Stevens on a quest for safety. Okay, always remember that. Yeah, got two fingers here. Okay, you want to get two fingers in here, you're good. Maneuver good. One thing, other thing too, hey, one thing to keep in mind, folks, when you put your harness on and you start walking around, it will loosen up. I guarantee you. Rick is Hoosier Crane service inspector and trainer. From day one at Hoosier Crane, our number one goal has been safety. And it's not just for the employees at Hoosier Crane. It's also for our customers, because it's what we do. It's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. When we do crane inspections, we're inspecting the crane to ensure that it's safe for the customer to use. When we go out and do repairs, we're repairing the crane, make sure it's safe for operation, so they can run a production and have a safe operation with it. We do operator training, which is <laughs> exactly what it is. We train the operators in a safe manner to where they operate the cranes. You just don't want it so tight that you can't maneuver, but yet you don't want it too loose to wear it in. Yes, I have. Rick recently taught a fall protection class at Utilimaster in Bristol. Not, in, not wearing their harness properly. That's usually your biggest mistake, and not having a rescue plan in case somebody does fall. There are many mistakes that people make. They think just by being hooked up, you're safe, and you're not. You have to make sure you've got the proper arrestor system to where if you do fall, you don't hit the ground before it actually <laughs> arrests you. So, and we ran into that not too long ago when I was out doing some training at a customer. So it's important to know what you need, get the proper equipment you need, and Hoosier Crane can help you out with that. Rick heads up our inspection and fall protection classes. If you're interested, please give us a call. The numbers are on the screen, 574-523-2945 or 800-509-6131. We have also started a new service, non-destructive testing, or NDT. 
We do magnetic particle testing and liquid penetrate testing to help find potential problems with your equipment. It's another level of safety for businesses that want to keep their people safe and avoid costly shutdowns. Again, the numbers are on the screen. Please give us a call and get your inspection scheduled. Hoosier Crane understands it's important to give back to the community that we work in. One of our partners, Horizon Education Alliance, works with businesses and schools to help better educate our kids. Hoosier Crane appreciates uh, the Horizon Education Alliance and everything they do here in the community. Um, on behalf of Tom Schmidt, the owner of Hoosier Crane and all of its employees, we want to thank you uh, for all your efforts. Um, Ryan, thank you very much. Thank you, Todd. Thank check, you so uh, much. That's check here for $10,000 and uh, um, look forward to what you guys can do with it. It's awesome. We appreciate it. Um, please extend thanks to Tom and to Sherry, Thank everyone you. in the company. We have this vision that Elkhart County can be a world-class place to learn, live, work, and play. This investment is helping make that happen. The whole premise is that collaboration will get it done. You're showing that by being engaged. Your people are engaged in, in the work that's happening, sector partnerships, manufacturing day, all those things. And yet it takes actual support to help the operations to make this happen. So please extend a big thank you from all of us to everyone there. And Will do. Okay. Will do. Thank, thank you, you again. Appreciate it. appreciate it. Another organization that Hoosier Crane partners with is Homeward Bound. It's an organization dedicated to finding forever homes for dogs. Homeward Bound's mission is basically just to place any dog that we have in a bad situation into a forever home. Um, we don't pick a specific breed or size or uh, anything like that. We literally just will take any dog that we think we can find a home for and get it completely vetted and put it out into a forever home is the idea. But he may want to go for a walk and stuff, so feel free to do that with him. Okay. And we'll come back and check on you. I think we have seven adoptions tonight. We had 20 on Saturday, so um, we've done 950 the last two years. Most of our dogs do come from kill shelters. They come from uh, situations that they're most likely going to be euthanized. Um, we do take some uh, local owner surrenders, but that's definitely a very small portion of what we do. We do mostly kill shelter animals. Hey, buddy. Aww, look at him. <laughs> so. Hoosier Crane has been wonderful to us. There is an entity in Chicago called the Rescue Bank. Rescue Bank is its own independent 501c3 that collects food for dogs and cats. They collect from different companies uh, like Chewy.com and uh, nature's balance, different foods, and they compile it in a warehouse and they post out to all these different rescues and you have to be approved with them as a 501c3, but uh, you're then able to get these items from them at certain times of the year. So it's a big expense for us to find a truck. We don't own a building, we don't own a truck, and it's a big expense for us. And Sherry came forward again and, and offered uh, for Hoosier Crane to drive. They pay the gas, they pay the tolls. I mean, it, it's very generous. And then Connor, Connor Baker, bless his heart. I don't know where that kid came from, but he's delightful. We love Connor. Um, he's driven. He'll take his whole Saturday up and drive up there. It's, it's really, it's nice. Pick up the food, come back, drop it off. And everyone that works there at San Mar is volunteer. So um, we're volunteers, you know, they're volunteers. The people unloading the food, they're volunteers. So they're, they're taking time out of their day as well as I'm taking time out of my day to go over there and do this kind of thing. You're taking a lot of stress off of me trying to find a driver and get the truck uh, rented and get that pulled and back and all that. They've taken a lot of stress off of me. We're very, very grateful for them. That's our show. From everyone here at Hoosier Crane, thanks for watching. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.